Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Leo from Mythic Games, and we're looking at a new version of Mythic Battles. Now, Absolutely. Mythic Battles came out uh, several years ago, yes. and a different earlier version sort of simplified. It was the miniature game that was did not have miniatures. Yes, People that's People exactly complained right. about that. Yes, and now we have something for them. <laughs> yes. So how has the game been reworked and what is the new format for it? Okay, so we have taken into account a lot of feedback from the first game. Mm -hmm. And this is not uh, a new edition, it's almost like a reboot. Okay. So uh, we have adapted uh, the game to a new format because we wanted minis. But instead of having uh, units, uh, as for the, for, for, uh, the first game, mm -hmm. we are having uh, miniatures. So it, it's an, a different scale. Okay. So uh, you play with some of the, the mechanics you had for the first game, but uh, streamlined, faster, and uh, more epic. In okay. a way. So what is the setting uh, yes. in which everything is taking place? Yes. OK, so in the, the setting is uh, Greek mythology, mm -hmm. uh, but in a almost post-apocalyptic world. Okay. So everything you know about mythology happened. So all the stories you've seen or re read uh, on, you know, movies or in in books has happened. So you have the Troy War, Achilles, Heracles, uh, Jason and the Argonauts, everything. Mm -hmm. But what you don't know and what the game tells is what happened next. And okay. what happened next is there was a big catastrophe, a big. Ca cataclysm, uh, the, the titans uh, were unleashed and uh, they wreak havoc everywhere and they launched a massive uh, assault on Olympus and the only way uh, the world would not be destroyed was if the gods united and that's what they did. Okay. So all the gods got united including Hades. Hades had to leave the underworld. This is Tartarus, this, this map is Tartarus. So okay. he would not, he wasn't able to to guard the underworld. So uh, the, the greatest heroes in history could climb up the river Styx and now are back on, in this world. Okay. And uh, it ended up with a terrible fight between the gods and the titans. A lot of the, of the gods were defeated, they were uh, killed. And when they die, they are transformed into a, a form of crystallized energy called Omphalos. This is this card, if you, yes. This card, uh, this is an Omphalos. So this is what a god uh, turns into after they're, they're killed. Gods are made of a kind of a cosmic energy. And, uh, and the Titans are another kind of energy, but the opposite, like matter and antimatter. So at the end of this huge, huge battle, because of the presence of two uh, opposite energies, there was a huge explosion, and this is where the cataclysm comes from. Uh, this explosion uh, shattered the world, uh, destroyed, uh, killed 90% of the population, and uh, the gods fell into a catatonia state. When they awoke, they realized that they were mortal, they could be killed. They were still uh, much stronger than any mortal. Uh, other mortal, let's say. <laughs> they are twice the size of humans, and you, you can see that in the minis, and we'll maybe okay. come to that again. But, and they can feel the presence of the uh, Omphalos, which are the relics of the, the, the dead gods. And they, even more than that, when they reach to that Omphalos, they can absorb the energy. And the first god who can absorb enough of them will regain his full powers and become the new king of gods. So in the game, you play a god, and you, you, you try to, to reach for an Omphalos and you will assemble and recruit your warband. And the warband will be made of heroes, monsters and survivors from the, 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 the battle and the cataclysm. Okay. So yes, yeah, so we have some figures here on yeah. display. Um, and how is the game being sold? Is this all one package or yeah. how, many so, or how does it work? So, this game will be sold on Kickstarter, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it comes first with a core box containing uh, 38 highly detailed miniatures. Actually, what you can see here is what you will get, because those are the okay. plastic casts, and we got them just for uh, okay. Essen now here. Okay. So there's uh, a big innovation in, uh, in the detail. Not only is it really nicely detailed, very close to the, the, the resin cast we had before, but the weapons are very, uh, very straight. Uh, no bendy weapons because for the win, yes, and we all know about that. We've all experienced that, right? But for these weapons, we used uh, ABS, which is hard plastic. So 
the, the minis themselves are made of PVC, but the, the weapons are made in uh, ABS, so they're really straight. Okay. All right. So this is everything we're getting in the box. What is the gameplay like? How does this work? Clearly, this, this setup is not coming in the box. This is a well, little stretch goal here. Well, not this exact setup. This yeah. is the 3D version for the show we're at. Yeah. So somebody just took the, uh, the, the, the board and uh, put it in 3D. Uh, in the in the box, you'll have like 2D boards, but you have some 3D elements that you put on top of the board. So okay. you really have something that is a little similar to that. Okay. So, uh, and how does the game play? Well, it's easy. The, you you play a god. You play one god in the game. So, and uh, it it plays from two to four players. Okay, and there are different modes. You can play either everybody for themselves or two versus two or even three versus one, depending on the mode you choose. Right. The first step is a draft, because you are going to draft your god and your army, which means that for any game, you never play with the same, uh, the same people. It depends on the draft, and people who know the game really well can counter draft. So the first three part is, uh, is this draft. Okay. And then, what is the purpose of the game? The purpose of the game is to either kill the opposing god, or to absorb up to four Amphalos. Okay. So those are, yes. And the first who reaches one of these two conditions wins the game. So the rules are very simple. It's maybe 15 minutes to explain, and a game lasts about one hour. Okay, do you have a combat example you want to do in terms yes, of pulling Yes, sure, sure, oh. sure. Let's do that. Uh, okay, you, you, pick, you pick two models. Okay. So, who, who are you inspired with? Well, clearly we should have Leo okay. on here. Leonidas. Okay. Okay. okay, that's a good choice. Right. Okay, let's put him, this guy here, and next to... Uh, this is, you know, this is Tartarus, so this is the prison where all the titans were, uh, un, uh, were locked, okay? okay? And where they escaped from, so you can see the prison have been uh, opened and... Uh, and okay. we pick out on the other side here, Hellhounds, or you wanna, something different? Who, yeah. who do you want? You want, yes. you want against the Hellhounds. Okay, yes, right. let's say... Leonidas is going to kill the Hellhounds, okay? All right? Okay, let's put them here. All right. Okay, so for the Hellhounds, you have this. For Leonidas, you have this. Okay. Yeah. All right, so here we're playing with a disc. It's not the final design we'll have. We'll have something more like a character sheet where you can see. We have redesigned it, but for this show, it, 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 it's this. All right, so you can see that on a disc, you have several statistics, right? And the statistics will change as you take wounds, and you, they get lower as you get wounded, all right? So the first part is, uh, the six here, is uh, the at attack rating. So, six means that he will roll six dice. The second one, defense, is seven. That's how much you need to reach in order to inflict him a wound. The third one is range. So, if you have a range of zero, you can only attack in your own area. So, Leonidas, if he had zero, he could only attack here, in this area. But he has one, which means he can attack up to one area. Okay. So, there are one area, he can attack them. Uh, then you have uh, the powers. Each character has special powers that they can use. We'll get to that later. We don't need that here. Then uh, movement. So he has a movement of one. So that means he can move up to one area per turn unless he runs, which adds one extra area. And then you have the hit points. He has six hit points. Okay, the hellhounds are units, so they don't have statistics that change and their hit points is based on the number of uh, of miniatures you have okay. right okay okay so you are going to to play leonidas okay so uh you will roll how many dice if you followed six dice exactly okay and uh what is the defense of uh, the four so you need to roll fours okay so here it's a good example those blanks are lost, so we take them away. Then you have, for now, one and two hits. Five, all the fives can be re-rolled to reach higher, uh, 
defense rating, but we don't need in that case because they are, so that's a hit, that's a hit, and those are two misses. But in the game, one of the things that uh, gives you influence of a randomness is that you can uh, take away any single die to add one to any other die. Okay, so you got three. So what does it mean? You killed three, okay? So in one hit, he just killed three, uh, three. This is as simple as that for just the basic rules. Okay. But there's more than basic rules. We have, okay. I don't know if you want to pull on those. What are those cards? All right, so how do you activate uh, a unit in the, in the game? When you draft your army, as I said, you will have a budget, a certain number of points that will, help, that will make you uh, create your warband. For instance, in a four-player game, each player has eight points worth of uh, recruitment points. If you look at this, you will see that Leonidas has a recruitment point cost of three. So if I, if I draft him, I've spent three points, right? Okay. Some monsters are worth four points. All the gods are free because you all need one god, and all the troops are worth one point. Okay. Once you've done that, you receive the cards uh, that belong to that character. So Leonidas has four activation cards. You can see that with the number of stars here. Four, which means in your deck, you will activate him four times before you finish your deck. You, your deck. you finish your deck. And then you have the Art of War card. These are the Joker cards. Every time I play one of those, I will have a special effect. For instance, drawing two cards or searching for one very card that I need or to activate your special powers that cause uh, uh, out of war cards. So, uh, in that case, uh, if I wanted to play Leonidas, I would have to play his activation card and then I do what he can do. This is. So, how does a, a game turn play? Well, you first got get all your cards, you shuffle them, you draw your first cards, and then you play one card to activate. During your activation, you can do up to two simple actions, among which uh, movement, uh, attacking, or claiming an Omphalos in any order, except for one. You cannot attack and then move away, because right. this is not a game for cowards. Okay? So, uh, you do any two actions you want, and then you, you, your turn is over. If you want to have a second, different unit, you need to spend one out of war card. So the game goes like this until one uh, side reaches the victory conditions. Okay. All right. Anything else we didn't cover that should be mentioned in here? Uh, well, uh, we'll have uh, four different uh, boards in the core, core box, uh, 38 miniatures, including nine uh, big size miniatures, and this is important. You know, you can see uh, that uh, they're really uh, they're really big. If you if you compare Ares to a normal size, you can see that we have very impressive and big minis in this game, and this is uh, this is an important uh, aspect. Um, we uh, the game has a, another mode that I didn't mention, but is a very important one. We have a story mode. So this is just the skirmish mode. Right. With this skirmish mode, uh, you, you don't need any preparation. You just open the box, you put the miniatures, you draft and you play. And very simple e uh, victory conditions. What will change is which, uh, which uh, board you play on because you have some special rules for each board. So that changes. But there is a second different mode which is the scenario mode. In the scenario mode it's more like a campaign. You play one scenario, it has an impact on the, on the other. You don't necessarily play gods, you could play just one hero who has to recruit some, uh, some people. When you recruit uh, tr some troops, they will be with you for the rest of the campaign. You can ask uh, as for... As long as they're alive. Yeah, as long as they're alive. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, fatality is, is, uh, is important in this game. Okay. So, yes, you, you have this mode which is an, a very interesting one. And finally, uh, as you know, the first game that we published so we are Mythic Games, but we are co-publishing this game with Monolith. And the first game that Monolith published, published was the immensely popular Conan game. And if you know about Conan, you'll know that uh, there is a region uh, in Conan that is inspired by ancient Greece. So we'll have crossovers with Conan and this game, which means you can play the Greek creatures and uh, 
uh, monsters and heroes in the Conan setting with uh, and we'll have some other surprises uh, for Conan fans. Okay. All right. So the, it's on Kickstarter on uh, November 1st uh, and uh, we hope 2016. Uh, 2016, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks very much for the overview, Leo. I appreciate it. It's a lot to look at here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.